Okay, so moving on in Algebra 2B, Credit 2, we are now in Lesson 15.1. And 15.1 starts on page 7, but we're going to actually start doing work over on page uh, 9. Uh, if you're using the fillable packets, they're, the space they give you the answer, hopefully you, you uh, are using Cami, you can just write in the answers because they're going to be, um, well, let's go ahead and put the first problem up and we'll talk about what we're doing here. So they give you boxes, I believe, at least uh, at this time. This is um, being recorded in September of 2020. So uh, maybe something's changed if this is being watched later on. Uh, to fill in A, B, and X. And what we really want to do, though, is what the directions say is uh, write the given exponential equations in logarithmic form. So first of all, what is a logarithm? A logarithm is an exponent. And uh, it's another way of writing with and dealing with exponents. The logarithms are, especially back in the day, were used for dealing with uh, very, very small and very, very large numbers. Uh, here, today, right now, we're just focusing on another way uh, to uh, present an exponent. So it's just a new way of doing things. Not hard, but it is something new. So we're not going to focus on so much the values of a, b, and x, but just writing this, or not, not so much on filling those in, but actually writing the answer. So <clears throat> what we want to do is uh, write it in the form of, as it has there, log uh, base b of b of a, I believe. Let me make sure we get this in the right, uh, yeah. Well, x, actually it's x equals log base b of a. All right, so let's talk about how we do this. So, again, a logarithm <coughs> is an exponent. So, we're going to write, the exponent here is 4. So, this will be 4 equals what? Well, the base in the exponential equation is the same, which was 10, is the same as the base in the logarithm. So, it's log base 10. And then this here, this number here, the 10,000, goes like that. So the way this is, we would read this is 4 equals log base 10 of 1,000, or probably, again, putting it on this side, a better way to do it, log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to 4. So in other words, what this is saying is 10 to what power is 10,000? And the answer is 4. So the answer is the exponent here. And so that's how you would do that. So we're going to do a few of these, and hopefully we'll get um, uh, used to them here. All right, so let's take a look at another one, uh, which is uh, number two there on the same page. So we got two-fifths to the power of x equals y. All right, so again, um, logarithm is an exponent, so we have x equals log the base in the exponential, the two-fifths is the base in the logarithm. And then the only, th you know, the only thing left then is the y. So we have log base two-fifths of y equals x, just kind of turning it around there. So it's a pattern. You just It's not too big of a deal. There's only three things you got to place. And again, it, it feels weird because it feels kind of random at first. But again, you'll, you'll kind of get used to it because it's the same procedure, same thing every time. All right, so let's take a look at uh, number three. Number three, we have log base two of one sixteenth equals negative four. Now here, what we're trying to do on this one is the opposite. We have the logarithm, and now we want to re rewrite this as an exponential function. That, it turns out, it feels, at least to me, it feels that's a little bit easier. Uh, because remember, this is the base, so the base in the logarithm is the base in the exponential, and then a logarithm is an exponent, so 2 to the negative 4th and is equal to this number here, 1 16th. And the way I kind of visualize it is kind of like this circular pattern here, so we have 2 to the negative 1 4th equals 1 16th, and, uh, and that's how you would do that. So let's go ahead and box that in. Let's leave that up there, and then we'll just do number four. We've got log uh, base one-third 
of x equals y. And so again, we're just going to follow that same kind of counterclockwise circular motion, if you will. So we got one third to the y. Because remember, a logarithm is an exponent. So this over here on the other side of the equal sign is the exponent. And of course, the base in the logarithms, the base in the exponential. So one third of the y equals x. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, so again, if any of that seems a little weak, just did a couple of each, but either going from logarithms to exponent, or on the previous two, we went from exponents to logarithms, um, just kind of maybe uh, rewind, maybe watch the video, uh, just to get the kind of the feel of how it's how it's done. Okay, so and again, I know they give you the, <coughs> the spaces for A, B, and X, but you just this is what you want to have your answer be, uh, rewriting the logarithm as an exponential. Okay, so nothing to do on page 10. We're going to go over to page 11, and we're going to evaluate and work out some logarithmic uh, expressions or equations. So we have f of x. So it says if f of x equals log base 7 of x, uh, find the following. And so number one is f of 343. Um, all right, so f of 343. And so what we're going to do is say, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So we got, instead of y, or instead of f of x, we're going to use y. So we'll have to say y equals log base 7 of 343. And so the best way to solve this is to rewrite this as an exponential. So this time we got the log on the um, right-hand side. So we've got 7 to the power of y equals 343. But same principle, because the base in the logarithm, the little number here, is the base in the exponential. A logarithm is always equal to, um, is an exponent, so that's why y is in the exponent. And so 7 to the power of y equals 343. Well, it turns out, again, we did those tables earlier. I'm not sure if we did 7s or not, but you can just kind of start multiplying 7s. And you would see that, 7 times 7 times 7, 7 to the third is 200 or 343, and so therefore y is equal to 3. Because if the bases are the same, the exponents have to be the same as well. All right, let's try another one here. Uh, we've got f of 149. So we're going to plug in 1 over 49 for x. And we'll use y instead of f of x. So we got log base 7 of 1 over 49. So what we're going to do here, again, same thing, rewrite this as an exponential. So 7 to the y equals 1 over 49. Now, 49, hopefully we recognize that as a power of 7. So we can write 49 as 7 to the second because 7 times 7 is 49. But we don't want this fraction here. We're going to bring the uh, 7 squared up into the numerator, but what, what that causes the exponent to do is change signs. So that's going to be negative. And so we have y equals negative 2. So y equals negative 2. Okay, so there we go with that one. All right, so let's go to number 3 there. And, oops. All right, so number three, we have f of the square root of 7. So using y instead of f of x, we have log base 7 of the square root of 7, plugging in square root of 7 for x. Okay, so again, same thing. We're going to rewrite this as an exponential. 7 to the y, to the power of y, equals square root of 7. So how do we do this one? Well, remember that square root means to the one-half power because there's a 1 here, there's a 2 here, because that's square root. So seven, the square root of 7 means 7 to the 1 half, and so y equals 1 half, and then that's it. Okay, so that is um, evaluating and solving uh, logarithmic equations. Okay, so now the last thing we're going to do is kind of nice because it's just pure calculator work. Uh, so what we're going to do is evaluate on the calculator some logarithmic expressions here. Okay. Um, so 
going over to page 13, we have log of 0.25. So we have log of 0.25. And our calculators, so when there's no base written, we, that is a base 10 log. And fortunately, fortunately, that's what our calculators do. So if you're using your phone or maybe you're using one of these calculators, uh, you can evaluate it. Uh, I'm going to do, since it's more likely if we're working at home, we might be using the phone. So you, you just would need to turn the phone uh, sideways to get the extra functions. And you would type in, uh, press LOG, and then it gives the parentheses and type in 0 0.25, and we get negative 0 0.60. And that's it. That's all we have to do. And then next, uh, next one we have um, log of, or excuse me, natural log of 0.25. And we haven't talked too much about those, but that's just the LN key. Um, so we're going to type in the LN key and then 0 0.25. And we get negative, if we round it to two decimal places, we get negative 1.39. So uh, right now what you should be doing is just, you know, using your phone just to make sure you can get these answers on your on your phone. Uh, number three, we have log of six. So again, when there's no base, we assume it's a base ten, which again is which our what our calculators and phones will do. So we type in log and then six and then equals, and we get 0.778. So that would be 0.78 rounded. So it was seven seven eight. But remember that eight makes the seven go up to eight. And then finally, natural log of six. So same thing, but we're going to use the LN key. So natural log of six and equals, and we get 1.791, which is 1.79. And that's it. So using the phone, pretty easy. All we have to do is pretty much just uh, type it in there. So again, and just to show you real quick here, um, see if we can put this up to the camera. The keys you would be using would be the uh, LOG, if you can see it there, the LOG log key, and then the LN, the uh, natural log key over here. So that's the keys we're using. And just depending on what they're asking for, the, uh, the common log, which is when it's a base 10, and then the natural log when it's the LN, which has a base of E, which we'll be talking more about that, or we have talked about some of that. All right, the homework and lesson checkpoint is on pages 14 through 16. So we wish you the best of luck with that. Rewind the video, ask questions, and we will see you in the next video, which is 15.2. We're going to be talking about graphing these logarithm functions. So good luck with the work, and we'll see you in the next video.